It's a shocking story. Time magazine claims that small children are being stolen from Indian slums, given false identities, and sold to Indian orphanages for as little as two hundred and eighty dollars. The children are then allegedly sold to parents in Western countries, including Australia. Human rights lawyer Degita claims that during the past decade, at least 30 Indian children have been stolen from their parents in India and sold to couples in Australia. Right now, the children are growing up in an adopted family, and that family should be informed about the fact that these children are brought in an illegal method, that they were trafficked. This Indian mother cannot be identified for legal reasons. She says her four-year-old daughter was stolen from outside her home in Chennai ten years ago. Time magazine claims her daughter was adopted and has been living in Australia for a decade. The girl is now 14.、Oh. I searched all over for a year. We were hardly at home. We were all the time looking here and there. After that, I gave up to Allah and His mercy. An Indian orphanage known as Malaysian Social Services is being investigated by Indian police for allegedly buying stolen children and on-selling them to Australian parents. Indian lawyers say the adoption scam is widespread throughout their country, and that the Australian government should not be dealing with Indian adoption agencies. Trafficking is not、uh, restricted to Malaysian Social Services; it is prevailing all over the country. The woman who runs the adoption agency has been investigated by Indian police and claims she didn't know the children were stolen before being sold to Australian couples. Till 2005, till the police came here, we didn't know that these children are stolen children. We never had any, not even a single idea about it. We never knew. The Indian mother who lost her daughter ten years ago says she wants to speak with her daughter in Australia, but will not force her to return unless she wants to. It's her wish. It's the girl's wish. If she wants to come back, we will not push her out. We will embrace her. But if it is her desire, if she should decide to stay back where she is now, that's her wish. We wish her well. Tonight, the federal attorney general Robert McClelland issued a statement. The government takes all allegations concerning the mistreatment of children with the utmost seriousness. I have asked my department to provide a detailed brief to me on the allegations. In doing so, they will make direct contact with the Indian authorities and liaise with the Australian federal police. I will ensure that any matters arising from the inquiry will be duly acted upon, and will engage with state and territory governments in their areas of responsibility. In the meantime, it should be noted that Australia no longer deals with either of the agencies cited by Time magazine. Indian parents may have little chance of getting their children back. Even if they can prove they were stolen, Australian laws act in the best interest of the child. Australian courts may take a dim view of any attempt to return a child to a poor family in India. John Stewart, Late Line.